Capital Eco Watch correspondent Laura Dealey recently sat down with Lexi Schultz from the Union of Concerned Scientists to discuss environmental legislation. In the House, it's the Safe Climate Act, and the lead sponsor on that is Representative Henry Waxman, and there are now more than 130 co-sponsors on that bill. And in the Senate, it's the Global Warming Pollution Reduction Act, which was introduced by Senator Sanders from Vermont and Senator Boxer from California. And Senator Boxer is the chair of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee, which is the committee in the Senate that will actually be crafting the final bill. Well, cap and trade is not going to be sufficient on its own to, to meet all the goals. We need other policies. We need policies that encourage more of our electricity to come from renewable energy like solar, wind, and other sources. We need to see uh, limits on the amount of global warming pollution com that coming out of cars. And one way to do that is by raising our miles per gallon standards. And we need to see a greater emphasis and standard set for energy efficiency so that we can do more with less energy. And that's very, very important. But the good news is we have those technologies today. Mm -hmm. So we can pick that low-hanging fruit and um, solve multiple problems with, with one effort and really get us to the global warming pollution reduction levels that we need to see to start avoiding the worst effects of global warming. There are multiple ways we can reduce our demand from, for energy. Everything from more efficient light bulbs to more efficient appliances to better designed buildings to more efficient cars and more efficient ways that businesses, uh, specifically manufacturing businesses, but, but many, many businesses run. And many companies are already doing that. Many people are already starting to switch to more efficient light bulbs. But there's a lot more that can be done and that we know how to do. With energy efficiency and renewable energy combined, we can go a long way towards that 80%. I've seen figures on the order of 70% of the reductions just from renewable energy and, and energy efficiency alone. Now, one of the nice things about a cap and trade system is that because it's based on a marketplace approach, it's designed to encourage the innovation that we need, not only to see the, the greater reductions that we need in 2040 and 2050 in the later years, but also to keep America competitive in the world marketplace. So right now, we're at risk of losing that renewable energy innovation technology to places like Europe. And we, as a, as a country that's known for innovation, should be exporting our technology. Absolutely. It can be a win-win situation, reducing our global warming pollution so we avoid the worst effects global warming while encouraging innovation, creating jobs, and being uh, good for the American economy overall.